Hi friends, we meet again today for another 11 standard session. Today I am going to take two important problems on straight lines. Straight lines ke baare mein dekhte hai. There are certain concepts for straight lines which are applicable in the 12th standard. 11th standard mein iska naam straight lines hai. 12th standard mein Similar concept, but the name of the chapter is pair of straight lines. So unless and until you know about straight lines, it will be difficult for you to go for pair of straight lines. Basic concepts hai, straight lines ke liye, wo sirf dhyan mein rakho, remember certain formulae, then 12th standard pair of straight lines will be simpler. Okay, so let us see the sums. I hope all of you are ready. So let's enjoy the sum now. You are given triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, the three vertices are given. AD perpendicular to BC is given. The question asked is, find the equation of altitude AD. What is the meaning of altitude? From the point A, when you draw a perpendicular to the opposite side, it is called as the altitude. You know that. Okay. Now AD perpendicular to BC does not mean that D is the midpoint of BC. If D was the midpoint of BC and also AD perpendicular to BC, then it becomes perpendicular bisector. Again, perpendicular bisector We are only given altitude AD. Bisect diya nahi hai hamko. Sirf right angle diya hai. Right? That is the difference between altitude and perpendicular bisector. Okay. So, ye baat mein dekhna. x1, y1, x2, y2, q diya hai. That we will see later on. Abhi kya karna hai? We want to find out equation of altitude AD. Now remember the key word here. AD perpendicular to BC. So whenever in straight lines, Perpendicular word is there. Always go for the slope of the opposite side. Because AD is perpendicular to BC, first find slope of segment BC. Q karna hai dekhenge. First find slope of segment BC. So seg segment BC ka slope ka formula ka hai. For any segment, you have learnt in the 10th standard. What is the formula for slope? y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. This is x1 y1 x2 y2 diya hai for our reference. So y2 minus, you have done many such sums in the 10th standard. y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 jara dekho. Minus 3 minus of minus 1 minus 4 minus 6. Kabhi kabhi minus of minus ar jata hai. So minus of minus gets converted into plus. So minus 3 plus 1 upon minus 4 minus 6 is minus 10, not plus 10. Huh? So minus 2 upon minus 10 gives you 1 by 5. Minus minus gets cancelled. So that is the slope of BC. This first slope 1 by 5. Now there is a very important property which you are not learnt in the 10th standard. But in 11th standard, if there is a perpendicular segment, hai, AD perpendicular to BC then and if you know the slope of BC so slope of AD kaise find out karna hai just take the reciprocal of this 1 by 5 ka reciprocal kya hai 5 by 1 ulta karna hai usko ulta karne ke baad if you have got plus sign here change the sign minus 5 by 1 isi liye maine kya kya dekho I got this 1 by 5 as the slope of BC but AD perpendicular to BC given so slope of AD will be minus 5 upon just don't take the reciprocal you have to change the sign also okay because M1 into M2 equal to minus 1 product of the slopes of perpendicular lines is minus 1 so remember if one slope is 1 by 5 
the other slope is minus 5 upon 1 which is minus 5 okay agar bc ka slope suppose 2 by 3 mil jata tha to ad ka slope kya hoega 2 by 3 ka reciprocal 3 by 2 sign badal jata minus 3 by 2 clear that is how you find the slopes of perpendicular lines and in 10th standard you had already learned that slopes of parallel lines are same, same but not for perpendicular lines perpendicular lines ke liye reciprocal karna pata hai sign change karni pata hai okay take it so that is how we get the slope of ad minus 5 call it as m slope is always denoted by m now after getting the slope of ad slope mil gaya we got the slope m now you should look out for one point on the line naturally one point on the line is a 2 5 clear so for to find the equation of the line if you got if you have got the slope of that line search one point call it as x1 y1 okay now forget about this x1 y1 this ka kaam ho gaya So this x1 y1 is taken for slope point form okay you know the slope of the line you know one point on the line so slope point for most of the case in 12th also 75 percent problems are on slope point form so slope point form kya hai y minus y1 is equal to m into brackets x minus x1 that is the slope point form. Aisa jhan mein rakna. Y minus Y1 is equal to M into brackets X minus X1. And the X1 Y1 is the, are the coordinates of the points. Right? M minus 5. Which you have already found out. So using slope point form. Y minus Y1 is equal to M into brackets X minus X1. Me substitute karo. You get y minus 5. <coughs> m is again minus 5. <coughs> x minus 2. Open up the brackets. <coughs> y minus 5 is equal to minus 5x plus 10. Minus 5 into minus 2 plus 10. Take the terms as far as possible. Keep x positive. So minus 5x left hand side to know 5x plus y is equal to 10 plus 5 that gives you 5x plus y equal to 15 that is the equation of altitude. So altitude ke liye process kya hai? Find the slope of the opposite side. Vertex hai na? Opposite segment ka slope le lo. Uske baad mein reciprocal karke slope of altitude mil gaya. Then search a point on that altitude use slope point form simple si baat hai. Not difficult at all. Okay? Right. Abhi kya hai ki next sum jo hai. That same problem. This one, this is the one from the textbook. But for CET, one problem was asked. Where same diagram was given. But they had changed the question as. Find the equation of perpendicular bisector of segment BC. Starting may we have discussed perpendicular bisector. Suppose I call it as line L. This is perpendicular and also bisects. Now remember, apne socha ke yaha se kyun ne draw kiya? Aise kyun ne draw kiya? Because remember, perpendicular bisector need not pass through point A. It will pass through point A only if triangle ABC was equilateral. Otherwise, it passes through the midpoint of BC and is perpendicular to BC. But if it extends, it does not pass through point A. Okay? So, diagram is slightly different. So, what is the main important point over here? BM perpendicular sorry bm congruent to cl here bd is not congruent to cd 
बिकॉज सिर्फ एल्टीट्यूड दिया है लेकिन यहाँ पे बाइसेक्टर दिया है सो बी एम इक्वल टू सी एम यह इंपॉर्टेंट बात है ओके सो नेचुरली अभी देर इज अ स्लाइट डिफरेंस यू टू फाइंड आउट इक्वेशन ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर बाइसेक्टर एल ओके सो परपेंडिकुलर वर्ड इज देर सो परपेंडिकुलर वर्ड मीन्स वॉट इज द हिंट यू नो फर्स्ट फाइंड स्लोप ऑफ बी सी Line line is perpendicular to BC, like over here, AD perpendicular to BC. So line L is perpendicular to BC means first find slope of BC. We can't find slope of line L. So slope of BC has already been found. कितना क्या है slope of BC? Y two minus y one upon x two minus x one. Slope of BC कितना है? One by five. Already same sum. So naturally, because line L is perpendicular to BC, slope of line L will be same, minus five upon one. Take the reciprocal and change the sign. So up till here, everything is the same, right? So I just write this that uh, slope of BC and slope of line L. Then we will see how to find the equation. Okay. Try to keep them because we already have the slope. Slope of BC we already found out as one by five. Therefore. Same thing, minus five upon one. M equal to minus five. We already found found this in the earlier case, right? So this slope represents the slope of the perpendicular bisector. Clear? Perpendicular bisector का slope मिल गया. अभी क्या? In the earlier sum, <coughs> altitude passes through the vertex. Okay? This line is called if for your reference. When the lines pass through the vertex, they are called as CVNs. CVNs means passing through the vertex. So altitude is a CVN. Okay, it is called as a CVN. But perpendicular bisector is not a CVN. It is not passing through a point A. Sometimes it may pass if the triangle is equilateral or even isosceles. Okay, right. So now, if this this line does not pass through point A, how will you get one point on the line? Slope to mil gaya, m mil gaya. Abhi iske upar ek point chahiye na slope point form ke liye. Slope point form. So from where will you get the point? Point kaha se laoge? M is the midpoint of BC. M is the midpoint of BC. I mean, now you know midpoint formula. Which I learnt in the tenth standard. So, yeah, guy, x one plus x two upon two, y one plus y two upon two, x one y one x two y two. नहीं लिखा तो भी चलेगा. Direct substitute करो. X1 plus X2, 6 plus minus 4, minus Two upon two gets cancelled. These are the coordinates of point M. Clear? 
सो अभी लाइन एल के लिए स्लोप मालूम है माइनस फाइव पॉइंट मालूम है विच इज वन माइनस टू सो नाउ अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज स्लोप पॉइंट फॉर्म फॉर लाइन एल क्लियर तो फर्क इसमें मेन ये है पॉइंट ए एक्स वन वाई वन लिया था बिकॉज ए डी पास थ्रू पॉइंट ए बट परपेंडिकुलर बाइसेक्टर पास थ्रू पॉइंट एम सो फॉर यूजिंग स्लोप पॉइंट फॉर्म दिस इज आवर एक्स वन वाई वन ध्यान में ओके स्लोप मालूम है पॉइंट ऑन द लाइन एल इज एक्स वन वाई वन सो आई विल यूज फाइनल स्टेप स्लोप पॉइंट फॉर्म सो स्लोप पॉइंट फॉर्म यूजिंग स्लोप पॉइंट फॉर्म इक्वेशन ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर बाइसेक्टर एल स्लोप पॉइंट फॉर्म का फॉर्मूला तो सेम है सिर्फ पॉइंट्स कोऑर्डिनेट्स हैव चेंज चलो ट्राई करो y माइनस वाई वन सो नो एक्स वन वाई वन फॉर स्लोप पॉइंट फॉर्म y माइनस वाई वन सो y माइनस वाई वन मीन्स माइनस ऑफ माइनस टू दैट इज प्लस टू एम एम इज दिन माइनस फाइव एक्स वन इज वन ट्स ओपन किया सो टेक माइनस फाइव एक्स ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड टेक टू ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड सो योर आंसर इज दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एल्टीट्यूड एंड परपेंडिकुलर बाइसेक्टर अभी लास्ट ईयर दिस टाइप ऑफ सम वॉज आस्ट फॉर कॉलेज एग्जाम टू ईयर्स बैक दिस सम वॉज आस्ट फॉर सीईटी सी द डिफरेंस क्या डिफरेंस है दोनों में देखो स्टडी करो सो रिमेंबर दैट बेसिक फॉर्म्यूला एम वन इन टू एम टू इक्वल टू माइनस वन फॉर परपेंडिकुलर लाइन्स ओके फॉर पैरल लाइन्स एम वन इक्वल टू एम टू दीज आर बेसिक कंसेप्ट यूज लेटर ऑन इन द ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड ऑल्सो so that will be all for today uh, solve the sums and enjoy meet you in another two days bye